now, the child you have to the street today may be the nurse caring for you in the hospital. The youngster ahead of you in line at the grocery store may be the police officer who can your community safe. And the teacher who helps you with your computer, sorry, the teacher who helps you with your computer, may employ you as a next big job or something. Education does not become any less important when our children and our grandchildren graduate from school. It's a never-ending and noble task, for only through education do we bolster the shared bond of community and citizenship. Our province is unique because of the content of our character and the sense of purpose of our faith. It is therefore imperative that our children learn to honor our heritage and dedicate themselves to the future. Only in an education system that is open to all our burdens, regardless of gender, race, religion, class, or geography, can our students come to appreciate the value of diversity and to learn to make judgments about things that truly matter. People come to Alberta from all over the world because of the opportunities that are available here, especially in our schools. And that is why it's essential for every person has the opportunity they need to learn, adapt, and develop new knowledge and new skills. And it makes it absolutely critical that those learning opportunities are high quality, accessible, affordable, and sustainable for all our Mr. Speaker, the Lieutenant Governor said, the freedom to create our own future and achieve our dreams so often rests on our enthusiasm for education. To this end, we've undertaken a project called Inspiring Education, a dialogue with our kids. Ably shared by the Edmund uh, School teacher, Dr. Sona, uh, former U of A senator, and she never from the back to the radio. We undertake this effort not because there is anything wrong with our schools. Indeed, education is one of those things in which Albertans can be rightfully right proud. People come to Alberta from all over the world to see our uh, school <coughs> infrastructure and observe how our children learn. International tests often place Alberta as one of the top five education systems in the world. Clearly, the hard work of students, teachers, parents, administrators, and our school communities are deserving of celebration. However, new times demand new approaches, and the time has come to establish what educational excellence looks like in the next part of the century. Inspiring education is both a process and a plan, an invigoration of learning in our province and a legacy that leads to the next generation. We seek to renew public appreciation for the value and importance of education in our children's lives, and to build understanding of how education is increasingly the basis of a prosperous society and economy. We must develop a broadly accepted and clear understanding of what it will mean to be an educated Alberta 20 years from now. And we must look beyond our immediate needs and interests to develop a policy framework which describes the overall direction, principles, and long term goals for education in Alberta over the next two decades. Mr. Speaker, by reaching out to Alberta to explore their hopes, dreams, and aspirations for their children, we will ensure that education enables every one of our citizens. To face the future with confidence. We will know that we have succeeded when our children are inspired to be imaginative, inventive, inspiring, inclusive, informed, independent, and industrious. With education, our buildings will continue to have the freedom to create and the spirit to achieve. Thank you.